Tommy G, man. Damn, I sound like fucking Cash Nasty. <laughs> but yo, it's Tommy G's. My, I said Tommy G's. Miami's wild word of BBLs. Now, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Am I a BBL bandits? Do I love BBLs? No. I'm more of a natural person. You know what I'm saying? I like natural bodies. But... Is BBLs really going to change that much of a decision for me? Like, am I somebody that's going to see him like, ew, BBLs, ew, get away. You know, of course not. When I see BBLs, it makes me more like, leave me alone. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 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 You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not scared of BBLs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with BBLs. I just like the BBLs that match the body. I don't like BBLs that are like that don't match the body. I don't like those. Damn. I basically <laughs> do that the face app does, but you know, for the knife. Yeah. Dr. Miami. Wait, is that Dr. Miami? Dr. Miami. That's what oh, she got a breast it she got breast implants? Skinny BBL. How does it impact your life now that you're walking, moving back to normal? I mean, I'm happier than ever. I love it. Now I'm like pulling NFL players, so. <laughs> so the point of her getting the BBL was to get more like famous people or like more people to look at her. Is that what I'm guessing? Because I'm not gonna lie. Is that the reason why? Like, that's all I got from it. I'm not gonna lie. That's all I got from it. Was just like, so, or, so like more people will look at her. Or like she'll pull like more. You know what I'm trying to say? All right, Miguel, are you ready? Ready. I gotta do my inspection. What? I'd say this. What is type of inspection is this? Niggas do it. Wait, niggas just do this for free. Wait, wait, do you get paid to do this? Is is this a job? Uh, the light BBL. This nigga gets to guess BBLs. Is that a job? My butt got too big. It just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What's wrong with? Is it insane to say that you know people that have died from BBLs? It's been normalized, but for most people, that's insane. Tennessee mother who lost her life after undergoing a popular plastic surgery procedure in Miami is suing the surgical center and the doctor who performed the operation. It smelled like death. I'm not kidding. Yeah, BBL. It smelled rotten. The people oh, her there butt smelled were rotten. so rude. It was a meat market. They were just in and out, in and out. It's gut wrenching. This is a young woman who came down here. Like a lot of people, she just wanted to change butt. the way she looked. Unfortunately, she's never gonna see her children again. Natural bodies versus okay, dude. We get it, bro. You like natural bodies instead of bionic bodies, gang. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> but there's still at the end of the day, there's literally nothing wrong. If a woman listen, it's so it's her life. If a woman wants a BBL, it's her life, gang. Or the Brazilian butt But me personally, I think is the I think it's better not to get a BBL because you can just work yourself out. Like, you can literally just work out. Hottest trend in plastic surgery today. It's where women undergo liposuction on their thighs, hips, and stomach only to have the same fat injected into their butt. The goal? To create a fuller, juicier, and rounder buttocks. But here's what most people don't know. There are people that actually die from BBLs. Damn. And according to MedPage today, the BBL is labeled as the most dangerous aesthetic procedure ever performed. It's estimated the that the death rate may be as high as 1 in 2400 <laughs> surgeries. And the reality is, some people go into a surgery to get a nicer ass, and they end up not living to tell the tale. Now, while while some clinics are run by world-class surgeons, others, Dude, they're being called head. human butcher shops, where the smell of death supposedly lingers in the air. There are places- Ugh, so some of they BBLs be smelling like, like, dead bodies? Ooh. Yes, right here in the United <laughs> States, disgusting. where clinics aren't even owned by licensed doctors and where unqualified staff might mistakenly liposuction your intestines or inject your fat oh. into major veins, causing instant respiratory failure. And the epicenter of this deadly trend is Miami, Florida, ground zero for countless bot surgeries and life-changing tragedies. So we head to Miami to speak with surgeons, injection clinics, models, and lawyers to get to the bottom of the story. Let's dive in. Okay, okay, talk to me. Quick announcement, the new shirt is flying Ah, I love you, Tom G. Listen, I love you, Tom G. I love you. You know it's all love here. Go shop at Tom G. But what song he chose this time? 
We head next to Bella Vida Aesthetics and meet with owner Eni Silviera, an entrepreneur who has invented an injection technique that is much safer than the BVL. It's mm. here we get to see her methods in action, we speak to patients who have suffered through botch jobs from a surgery gone wrong, and finally we assemble a team of six models to test for ourselves whether we can tell the difference between a natural and BVO. What, bro? Y'all can just do that? What? Y'all can literally just... Tommy G, if you was gonna do this, why did you call me? Like... <sighs> Booty. So, my name is Ianni Silvera. I'm a family nurse practitioner, and here in Miami, Florida, I'm known as the Booty Queen. Imagine okay. walking to the beach, and you just see, like, this beautiful... Leave me alone! <laughs> ah! Akira! Ah! <laughs> right? You have hearts in your eyes. So basically, the Bella Vida Instant BBL is giving you that nice, round, juicy, athletic looking tush. It looked the same to me. Well, I see like the difference, but like I see the difference in shape, but it looked the same to me. It just looked, the picture just got lighter. That's it. Like her skin tone changed. That's all it looked like to me. And what got you into the world of boobs? I'm Brazilian, mm -hmm. number one. Just go to the we're gym. Known for butts. <laughs> number two, I'm in Miami, so. Bro, I, you already know how people are, bro. If they can get it the easy way, oh my gosh. Constantly am in a bikini. I kind of started becoming like a mad scientist here at the office and just like mixing stuff, trying it out on my friends. And then finally I got to the perfect cocktail. And so I trademarked the name, I patented the technique. And they send me all over the world to hey, they'll be friends. I'm not gonna lie, she's so friends as a test subject. To make the perfect loop. Tell me about the dark side of the BBL world. Okay, talk to me. We getting into it. No people lose their families. Tennessee over mother who lost her life after an B Listen, bro, if I'm a female, I'm not trusting that nigga to do BBLs. <laughs> that nigga look like he just signed that to that position so he could just touch booties, nigga. Going a popular plastic surgery procedure in Miami. 33 year old Erica Russell, a mother of five, left her home in Tennessee in 2021 to travel to Miami for a Brazilian butt lift or BBL, the plastic surgery procedure. Wait, this was her mom that went to go get a BBL? After she. What? Nigga, falls her kid off. Nigga, I look at her. Cr Ma, why the hell you need a BBL? Like, you, you done making babies. Fuck, you need a BBL for? has one of the highest mortality rates. But our Pedo. This is a young woman who came down here, like a lot of people, she just wanted to change the way she looked. Unfortunately, she's never gonna see her children again, and they're gonna grow up without their mom. And that's a, a horrible, horrible thing, that this is a completely preventable death. This physician that performed the surgery, it's just a total box job. That's what it was, through and through. <sighs> I'm telling you, bro, come on, gang. Like, you telling me, bro, I'm not trying to sit here and, like, I'm not trying to judge this nigga, but it's like, bro, if I'm a female, I'm not trusting this nigga, bro. <laughs> if I'm a female, I'm not trusting this nigga. Like, this nigga definitely signed the job so he could touch some booty. No one should be going game under the game. knife with a surgeon who's been doing this all day. Uh, for over a dozen people for 14 plus hours. I wanted to get the real stats on the question, how dangerous are BBLs truly? We referenced earlier that the stat is potentially as high as one in 2,400 surgeries result in death. For comparison, the odds of dying while motorcycle racing are about one in 1,000, and the odds Damn. of dying while skydiving are about one in 100,000. So, dude, so you have an easier chance of dying with a BBL. Well, I mean, a lot, not a lot of people will skydive anyways. And as far as BBL deaths go, there seems to be a pattern. Like most medical accidents, bad things occur when the surgeon gets tired. And at the clinics that prioritize quantity, they overload their surgeon schedule. And the patients that die tend to be the ones that are seen at the end of the day or towards the end of the week. And typically, the cheaper the clinic, the more people they tend to see and the more botch jobs and deaths that occur. So when a clinic decides to prioritize quality over quantity, the operation Ugh. actually tends to be decently safe. Damn! <laughs> Nigga, that's how they pump the fat in just repeatedly decides to prioritize quality over quantity, the operation actually tends to be decently. That's how they pump the fat in, just repeatedly stabbing you with... Oh, man. Same. The, the paperwork that she was provided lies. She was told this doctor has staff privileges at this hospital. Turns out he didn't. You look at their marketing. You look at how they're targeting different folks and how they're portraying themselves. Marketing. You look at how they're... I mean, you can 
I mean, you can't lie, they didn't do a good job right there. Targeting different folks and how they're portraying themselves. They present themselves as if they're the best docs on earth doing this stuff. Um, and in reality, Nigga, that's what, like you, a what you come change. to learn when you're on our side looking into this stuff, these surgical centers, they're just businesses often being run by people who have no medical background whatsoever. Okay. And what they're doing is they're contracting with different doctors. Maybe they'll bury that in some piece of paper that says this doctor doesn't actually work for us. It's all smoke and mirrors. I ain't lie yet, yeah, people don't read now. They just immediately sign papers. Damn, I just know BBLs is all We're out here in front of Seduction Cosmetic Center. This is Everywhere a place that Erica Russell media. passed away shortly after having an operation here. Now, there's a big discrepancy. Google reviews, about 4.5 stars, thousands of reviews. Looks really, really good. But okay. on Yelp, they have mostly one-star reviews. Alexis Damn. A said 25 days ago, surgeons nearly killed me here. I was in the ER, in ICU, receiving blood transfusions for four days. Do not go here. Do not put your life in these people's hands. Just one scroll down. The entire experience is sketchy. My girlfriend recently had a... Oh, his girlfriend. I was about to say, nigga, don't tell me you got a BBL. Botch BBL removed, and she was lied to about the price on six different instances. And then in the after surgery, she was not giving pain medication on the trip home. One of the stories that we're covering is the story of Erica Russell. Are you familiar with her story? She unfortunately died shortly after leaving this clinic. And so what we're looking into is also that some of these clinics, are they owned by doctors? Are they owned by just business okay. people? And then the doctors are stuck with rooms. Like there's some he stuff going on behind answer. the scenes. Is this place owned by a doctor? Uh, some of them, they do, some of them. A non-doctor can open a surgery center. Yes. What's your okay. role within this? Really? They care more like... They put a non-doctor, like you don't need like... I thought you need paperwork to open, open like that type of shit. But why is it medical style? Are there any misconceptions? Well, you don't. Perceptions about the BBL industry that you'd like to address and tell the people back home. Any other procedures, you have risks. I don't know how to explain it, but it's safe. I'm not here to paint someone in a bad corner. We'll let the okay. statistics do the talking. I don't really know. Total, I don't how like much how you money were you out because of this? A little over 10,000. The people Damn. there were so rude. This is Connie. I found her through the review her roommate left on Seduction Cosmetic Center Yelp page, and I wanted to hear the story behind the one-star review. Here's Damn. what she had to say. You, you were, it was a meat market. They were just in and out, in and out. And you know, there was a back door where, you know, obviously they take take people or supposedly take people for pre-op and surgery. Okay. You watch it, and it smelled like death. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it smelled rotten. I sat there for almost three hours that I didn't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. Morning, and not one time did I, I was one person that was in that waiting room go to, through that back door. Not once. The reason why I made this technique is because I've had two girlfriends pass away. It was one of my Damn. baseball wives went in for surgery and she passed away. And then I had another friend pass away. And then within like that same month, it was like two other influencers of just doing multiple BBLs had passed away. And I'm like, she got at what food? point in time are you gonna put your life on the line for beauty? My technique is probably the safest way to inject and volumize and get correction. And how did they die? Sometimes you get a blood clot, okay. um, pulmonary embolism. You just, it just kind of depends. Each one of them was a clot that kind of dislodged uh, Again, cardiac arrest or pulmonary embolism is usually what happens. Were the doctors okay. ever held responsible? This is a really dark side of medicine, and a lot of people get upset at um, medical professionals, but we have consent forms that will protect us from everything. If you think you can get all this beauty for $5,000, you're gonna go to the butcher shops. They left a yeah. towel inside of you. I know they gotta um, be like, I know BBL's gotta be to like 10,000 plus. take a drain or they didn't put in a drain. So there's a lot that Probably comes 25. with it, but it's really nice. Their marketing says 2K for 360 lipo and you only have 1800 in your bank account, you're gonna go to a place that you could afford. And there's been a lot of people that have been arrested. A lot of people have killed. That's what I'm saying, like nigga, to be honest, bro, with the BBL scene, bro, you, women don't really need to BBL. I mean, like, if you really want your body like that, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, it's your personal profession. Like, it's your body at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's your body. But I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least what I would like to say is, bro, if you're female and you want a BBL, I say at least give the gym a try. At least. 
You know what I'm saying? I understand if you go to the gym, you don't like the gym, you don't like, you know what I'm saying, doing that, then you can get to be able, okay, cool. But at least try the gym. You know what I'm saying? Lord. Killed people, so do your research on the background of these Because the gym is like a good 90% chance you won't die. People, While they, BBL is like a 50-50. They just put cement, or they say vitamins. Oh, you Did have, you say cement? There's been cement. Dude, there's they put cement in the booty? Been, and they say medical grade silicone, which nobody uses anymore unless you're an orthopedic surgeon. These are things that are going to give you bad results even later on in life. Do you know anyone in Miami right it's now? Like we have a rock hard a couple <laughs> hundred people, yeah. Okay. <laughs> rock hard boot. Yeah. It made me feel yeah, very self conscious. I was a really big bikini model, OnlyFans model at the time, and my body was my image. I felt okay. very insecure, and it kind of made me want to fix the problem as soon as possible because I did this to fix an insecurity, not to create a whole bunch of other ones. So okay. I ended up going to do two more rounds of lipo after that with God the same damn. year with the two same more? doctor because I told him, like, you better fix this for free because I'm not paying anyone else to do it. And I've lost... She told her doctor, you better fix this for free because you're not paying anybody else to do it. To fix your insecurity. Mm. It's a lot of weight since then. It's not as visible. but I don't I, know who the fuck she thinks she is, boy. I do start putting on weight. It does come back. So that's just a thing I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. What did Wait, what'd she say? Start putting on weight. It does come back. So... Yeah, if you don't eat right, what the fuck? Nigga, you think you're gonna get a liposuction, nigga? And just think, oh, if you eat a lot, it's, the weight's not gonna come back? Oh, once you get a lipo, the weight never comes back. What the fuck? I meant to play the video, but now it looks weird. That we just, I just, after set that, and now I'm sitting here in quietness. Well, that's just a thing I'm gonna have to deal with for the rest of my life. What did it cost you financially to get So she don't want to work out? Definitely like something? six figures, I would say, throughout that year. I was actually put onto the show Botch. But Patricia, I the, um, interesting because you went from deal. a person very serious about golf to someone who's very serious about plastic surgery, right? Yeah. And how so, did that happen? Yeah, how did that work? I mean, just being in the social media world. So I did the first one in February, and then I had the second lipo in June. I went back in October. Another lipo? Yes. Three lipos in the same area in eight months. Yeah. In general. Wait, three lipos in eight months? Oh my gosh. Girl, you should probably wait at least a year before having revisional liposuction. But that created more loose skin, more trauma to the area, so it hasn't fully healed up. Shawty got a death wish or something. To kind of navigate where they're putting the fat. They just kind of do it blindfully. And if you put that right in one of those veins or a muscle or anything, you just... Done. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm Haley. And I'm Hannah. And we're the Oh, they twist? Yeah! Oh, no. uh. Leave me alone! Ooh. Ah. I'm a grown ass man. Ain't black women. So you in guys this are bitch. completely natural. No, yeah. there's no black Which women on these. Rare in Miami. We're from Arkansas, so we're. I don't know. Probably cornbread and. All that. I think it's the <laughs> cows that meet. <laughs> I don't know. It makes booty stick yeah, in Arkansas. Yeah, that's Okay, so in the also modern, eating cows meet the well, How rare is it to have a completely natural look? It's not really rare. I think most OnlyFans girls I run into are completely natural, honestly. So for the women getting work done, do you think it comes more from female peer pressure or male peer pressure? I uh, was gonna say female pressure for sure, because most men tell you not to do it. They're like, oh, don't wear makeup, uh, be natural. Most men come on, natural man! And pure things. You know what I'm saying? Come on! She know what's up! She know what's up! I promise you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? We not need BBL bandits, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You can go ask a man. You can go ask a boy right now. You can go on the street and ask the hundred men. I'm telling you, majority of niggas gonna be like, nah, baby, we don't want you to get a BBL. Nah, baby, you don't gotta wear all that makeup. We love your natural look. We love your natural beauty. You know what I'm saying? We under, at the end of the day, we understand it's what helps you. Like, we understand, like, it's your comfortability. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's your body. So we don't understand your insecurities or, like, what you feel 100% or, like, 
every single time, but we just like letting you know how we feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we basically, we just trying to say other niggas' opinions don't matter. It's, it's really our opinions that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we're here every day. We're we're the ones, you know, saying that labor to you at night. We're the ones that, you know, say help you and, you know what I'm saying, comfort you and, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, that's, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's it. Have you heard any nightmare experiences from people getting BBLs? I had a friend, she had a BBL. I didn't even know it was a BBL at first, but it looked it looked pretty good. But like when she pointed it out, it's like, I guess you could tell, but she went to, uh, I think she went and got injections at home, like not even professionally done. And Someone came to her house and did it? Yeah, like I felt her butt and she was just like, it felt so good, honestly. It felt soft and it felt really nice. Have you gotten a BBL? I did in 2018. Yeah. Nigga, BBL veteran, bro? <laughs> really? That's what they put under her name? BBL veteran, bro? I'm very happy. The results were super nice. Am I blonde or does shit look same? Okay, am I blonde or does this shit look the same to me? Like, is the top, like, the top one is the, the top one is the after or the bottom one is the after? Or the bottom one's before and the top one's after? It looks the same to me. Natural. What led up to the decision to say I want to be young? Probably just like social media or something. I was working in the club, so you know everyone has so, big butts. So I want to Social media made her what get me. Sorry, a bitch. If we're talking right? like work wise, <laughs> nigga, that's what I started. <laughs> that's what I started laughing, bro. I just seen veteran BB. <laughs> In the club. I mean, BBL bitch, and I was like, damn, nigga. Of me getting my breast um, implants is what changed my money the most. It's like, was it a dramatic increase? Oh, she got in earnings? Uh, oh. Absolutely, when I got my breast implants. Yeah, she got everything implanted or some shit? I wouldn't say it went bad. I just, like, my butt got too big. It just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I think my body was, like, having a reaction to the. So when she got a BBL, her body just kept getting bigger? Material that was injected in my butt, and it was kind of creating scar, scar tissue, some inflammation. Um, I noticed some spots were starting to get like a little bit harder than other spots. God damn, oh, she had a brick move. For my original BBL in 2018, it was about $9,000 for the lipo and then the transfer of the fat. And then my removal surgery in 2021 was about $11,000 in Colombia because I got quoted $23,000 here from one doctor. Reconstructions. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm not going to lie. Her voice box kind of annoying me. Surgery back in Colombia in 20 BBL logic. <laughs> 2022, it was about $10,000. Do you think it's peer pressure from women or men that incur? Definitely both. Do you feel like you're chasing a standard of beauty that's in the fuck? We, we ain't telling you to go outside and get BBLs, nigga. The fuck? Impossible to attain. Yeah, I think everyone is. I am very well, confident who I am, but I would say my biggest insecurity would be my butt right now. Because it's like. Every wait, her biggest insecurity is like. Her butt after she got the BBL surgery or before? Every procedure. Nah, don't blame us. That's all I'm saying. Yeah! Leave me alone! Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Akira! Ah. What I do is individualize. So I am actually putting volume where she needs it, and I know that she likes like a nice shelf. When you say a nice shelf, it looks perfect to me. Why does she need a seizure already? It looks it looks good how it is. What are we talking about? Here? So I have four different techniques, right? So it's the shelf booty, which girls like that top shelf if they're. Where you could rest you know, a child here. Like correct, here. right? It's like that tabletop. So most girls, when they take pictures and you turn sideways, bro, it looks. They want to make sure that they have this little shelf here. Then we do. I know Tommy G was not trying. Don't have anything. She has the perfect sweetheart booty. Sweetheart is this bottom part, right? right. So she doesn't need volume right there at all. What I'm going to do is just completely like round that out. Right God there. damn, boy. Have, she barely even touched it as she was jiggling. Basically, what I call a half treatment prepared. 
and usually this is good enough to correct one area in your glutes, right? Okay. So I know that she wants a shelf, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of volumize this upper Wait, this outer point, shelf. Isn't this like so her third keep procedure? it nice and round for her. Third BBL procedure? I have a vibrating tool that just kind of distracts them. They're laying down, they have their blankets, everything is sterile. Uh, then I use numbing, which is lidocaine with epi, and then I go ahead and start injecting. So, right? What in God's green earth is it? in these syringes. So the radius, the product that we spoke about, the biosimulator and normal saline. Let's see what okay. you got. Uh -huh. Ah! 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 Tommy G, why you gotta show that part, man? Damn, why you gotta show that part? Ah, shit. Ha, ah, bro, just like seeing how it has to poke through each layer, nigga. Like it, the first one had to poke through the skin, then it had to keep poking through the muscle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Folks, I must let you know that there are a plethora of outtakes, great scenes, and extended cuts from this episode. Uh, uh, technique, you are ready to go to the beach well, by I the next day. I don't know about Patreon. I've never used Patreon before. I feel amazing. How's your booty feeling? Um, it's a little like firm right now because it's like all filled up, but I know it's going to feel amazing in like five hours. For the next segment. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't like her voice, but... We're going to be doing a touch test. A blindfolded participant is going to be feeling a butt and trying to determine is this a B I don't want to be a part of this. BBL butt <laughs> or a natural butt. As much as I would love to participate, I love my wife's sweet cheeks. I'm going to let my camera guy, Miguel. Miguel's going to be taking care of this one. He'll be Miguel! Introducing Team BBL. <laughs> so the doctor's natural. got BBLs too. That's crazy. All right, Miguel, are you ready? Ready. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Okay, do you just tag him? Yeah, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I ain't lie, you can Loki just tell if a girl got a BBL. All right, Kyle, let's see. <laughs> Bro, he ain't grabbing right. What do you think, Miguel? BBL. <laughs> Natural. Okay, okay, okay boy. He might know so he he might know a thing or two, boy. He not just a cameraman. He might know a thing or two. Fighting every biological urge known to man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Why y'all gotta zoom in on his piece, bro? Let me just say, if I was here, y'all, I'd be wearing a four pairs of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'd say this is natural. Okay. Okay. Respect, respect. We got one question. Yep. How do you feel about your job? Oh, that's definitely a muscle booty. Uh, I love it. The next booty that's is definitely about a, muscle a foot booty. in front of your face. And it's looking scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the thighs busting out her pants. I gotta do my inspection. This don't, feels natural too. I was about to say, don't put your thumb in the butt. Watch out. <laughs> I'd say this is a uh, BBL. All I right. think. I like BBL. Okay. That nigga know the forms too? <laughs> nigga know the forms too? One contestant away. How's it going so far? Good. I think that was pretty accurate. We have the final contestant of the afternoon. So he got, he only got one wrong? Final buttocks, buttocks, in front of him. Bro that's said easy, light. BBL. Oh, yeah, damn, that nigga said that's easy. Sure. Damn. Let me get one more feel. God Five. damn, boy, okay. Nah, nah, boy, you must like this one right here. This nigga said, let me get one more feel. You see how he's squeezing on it? Oh, yeah, boy. Answer? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does it, does it feel like it's stiffer? Not stiffer, actually. They all felt the same. I'd say it was more like felt, more inflated it felt. Yeah, honestly, like, men do not know the difference. I think if we had a variety.
mean, why would I need to know the difference in a BBL booty? Like, if booty is booty, why do I need to know the difference? The only time I know the difference is I can I can tell the difference from visuals, but if I'm feeling it to me, like if a girl get a BBL and like she get it done like the correct way, it should just feel the same as a regular booty. Now, visually, I could probably tell. Lady of women here, whether it's the injections, unless they're illegal, you would not be able to tell and the difference. Four out of six. That means the doctor. Ladies, did a good what do you job. think about his accuracy? Off, unless it's, they're illegal. His accuracy is off. When he only had one wrong. No, he had two wrong. So he had four out of two. Injections. Four out of six. Most men will not be able to tell. Yeah. Can we give a round of applause for Miguel? Yeah. Good job, Miguel. Very professional. <laughs> Thank you for scientific purposes for donating your booties for their uh, research. And that concludes this scene. Cut. How hard was it not to get a boner up there? It's like it's it was because I could tell you're right next to me, so it'd be, that just like makes my shit not work. You know? <laughs> Congratulations, young soldier. Bay Harbor. Okay. Uh. Uh. Doctor Miami. One of the most highly rated church in the area, Doctor Miami, who's at a reality TV show and seems to have a great time with booties and boobs. We're gonna walk in his office with the murder twins and see what the whole operation's about. The elevator that butts paid for. And tits. Maybe penis is Oh, Nardo Whip, oh. I was about to say Nardo Whip drop. Second floor. Yeah, it sounds like you guys are at a fork in the road. BBL, natural. How would you say which way you're leaning and how you're considering this decision right now? Okay. Well, considering that we've figured out that you can get a BBL look through working out, natural might be a cool way to go considering health-wise. We'd still like to see more of the BBL side. Okay. Uh, do you have that face app? Yes. Can you show us how that works? I just took a couple. Yeah, this one's open. All right. So. We're here. What happens? Okay. And if you do want to open your eyes more again, we can go back to sizes and big eyes and we can open them up. Oh, the face more. app that like, like, you, like it fixes your face in, what type of app? That is so strange. <laughs> okay, what's the real smile you can do to my face right now? Okay. Crazy, make him smile. What? <laughs> you can make people smile? What? Yeah, so uh, there's different smiles too though. Like you're already smiling, but they can make you smile more. And most photos that you think we're looking at that's coming from the influencer model only fans world are touched up to some extent. Awesome. Yes, like, uh, almost. Awesome. I've even yeah, I yeah, even do like, yeah, like Nigga, we get scared. How you doing? We're playing around with face app right now. Oh, cool. they opened my eyes, gave me better looking teeth, a better Good. looking butt. Good. So we're, <laughs> Good. we're on to one today. All right, excellent. Well, um, I I basically do what the face app does, but you know, for the knife. Yeah. <laughs> it's inside the operating room like you've never seen before. Yeah, how good is how nice is this booty looking? Whoa. Brought to you by the man. <laughs> is he listening to music while he pumping me? Like, am I really listening? Like, am I really hearing that this dude is listening to music while he's pumping fat in the booty? Never seen before. Yeah, how good is how nice is this booty looking? Whoa. Brought to you by the man known as Dr. Miami. Hey man, Plastic Dr. surgeon Miami. Dr. Michael Solzauer taking viewers behind the scenes at surgeries. Most so graphic, we can't even show you. Welcome back to the operating room for a wonderful Monday. We have a Brazilian butt lift. She is quite square beforehand. We are going to snatch her waist, give her a round booty. Capturing the before, after, and everything in between. Yeah, yeah. well, I'll do okay. you cover. Um, I do noses. Okay. okay, that's the face part. Uh, a little lipo of the neck, jawline kind of stuff, maybe. And then I do a lot of boobs, butts, and tummies. Okay. You found a dream job, huh? It's pretty amazing. It's, it's, yeah, it beats coal mining. Well, Dr. I'm not glad I just had a realization. Yo, for the ladies, would y'all date a man that's in the BBL scene, like that does BBL procedures, like, like that he, like, he performs BBLs and gives women BBLs? Like, would y'all date a nigga that does that? Because if you really think about it, it's a free touch of the booty. 
I mean, I brought two models for you. Hello, hello, ladies. Hey, hey, about the brain rob politician. I can assure Don't you, tell friendly. Me. We want to see what a, like a pre-op kind of looks like. Okay. The day of surgery, or like a she got a media? Like she just came off the street. And no. She, they're asking for bucks. They're considering getting booties <laughs> and titties, right? Yeah. We'll cover both. Okay. Wait, no! They're already perfect out of yard. Why they gotta touch up when they already good out the army? Home. Oh, it's mine. That's sick. Yeah, I did it. This is Bella. Hey, Bella. Tired. Nice to meet you. Nice to hear. Nice um, to meet you. Would you mind standing up for us for a second? There's a, a little bit of a model. She had a, a BBL. Turn around. Nah, the breast yeah. don't seem right. Uh, which is what we call a skinny BBL. Mm -hmm. Okay, the booty kind of, you know, yeah, kind of fit. And, okay, uh, I respect that. The booty fit her though, but the, the front, but her boobs don't really. Really. Yes, and, in my opinion. Uh, also her waist. We also did what we call the Miami mini waist, which is basically reshaping the rib cage, make little cuts in the ribs, and push them closer together. So how does okay. it impact your life now that you're walking I got and in back to normal? I mean, I'm happier than ever. I love it. Okay. Um, now I'm like pulling in a bell player, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope I'm that. She's pulling NFL players. I just love that. That's that's very <laughs> high praise as a, as a plastic surgeon. Thank okay. you. That's, that's like, you know, that's like winning the Nobel Prize in this industry. What made you say, hey, I'm not gonna hire a personal trainer, go four times a week, eat the zucchini, avocado. Well, you know, in my defense, mm -hmm. and in the defense of personal trainers, they okay. can't really make the breast bigger. Yeah, I mean, I was already doing Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but like I still had like a little fat here and like my love handles, it didn't matter how much like I worked out or like how healthy I ate, like there was just stubborn fat. And, and like, she was skinny. Yeah. You know, she was obviously skinny to begin yeah. with, but there's certain areas that there's nothing you can do in the gym. What do you okay. have over here, Dr. Miami? I have a collection of press and I mean, so. you could just like bulk up and then cut, well not bulk up, but like eat a lot of food, like get big and then like cut. Various sizes and shapes. So that's something like that is there's like a menu. That's in her. That's that's what's that's in her. Yeah, that's what's in there. Yeah. So if I were to squish it, we feel exactly like this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And this is silicone. Yes, it's silicone. This is like we call gummy bear silicone. I mean, it's covering my eyes. So she really got silicone in her. What what depends what you start. For you, this would be for you probably like a small D cup. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you ever you know decide to go that way, let me know. Yeah. So first thing they do is they get into gowns. Okay. So your job involves a lot of boobies and butts. Yeah. Is it hard to fight your own biology in the I'm process? Gonna no, you're asking no, a nigga. plastic surgeon <laughs> if he gets an erection when he examines his patients. Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> Has it ever happened? I mean, no, it's, it's it, never happened. Not even day one of the job. Okay. Like, okay. Oh, think of my grandma. Think of something else. Think of World War II. Oh, like he got brain. hard looking. Think of Tommy G. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm good. All I'm saying is, nigga, listen, I'm not saying I'll make a move on a patient, but I'm just saying, nigga, listen, you can't, you can't have those nails, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I will, I will try my best to think of something else, look over here, look over there, but gang, I can't, I can't stop what's natural, bro. <laughs> the truth is that, um, doctors, by the time you go through medical school, from day one, you're like dissecting bodies and stuff, so Ugh. some switch happens in your brain. It's not to say that you couldn't get aroused with a patient, it's, I'm sure it's happened, but like, by the time you're through medical school, you're pretty immune to the sight of naked bodies. Because okay. you see, you don't just see the gorgeous ones, you see like, you know. All right, so the first questions we ask are like, do you have any medical issues or anything you need to know about? Diabetes, have blood pressure, anemia, blood clots, thyroid issues, nothing. Yeah. So that's the first thing you wanna check, make sure that they don't have any medical problems that might make this not safe, right? You guys have any kids? Mm -mm. Okay, so no kids, we always ask about that too. Have you ever had surgery before of any kind? Uh, wisdom teeth count, then they are that. That counts, yeah. Okay. Any surgery now? Wisdom teeth. Alright, yeah. cool. Face me if you don't mind. I think you gotta open up the gown. I'm gonna do the breast right, first. I'm backwards. You're going on backwards? Okay, that's right. <laughs> you did you guys wear it very fashionable. All right. So, um, what we do is first we measure. No Damn, two breasts are exactly the same. Look. They're like sisters that look alike, but you know, not identical twins. 20, 20, you measure the distance, and her measurements are actually near perfect. 
So. And what made her titties say that those are just fine? Okay, so what you want, like ideal breasts, they make what's called an equilateral triangle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember trigonometry, yeah. right? So like an equal distance from the super sternal notch to the nipples and then across. And for her height, she's like 20 and a half centimeters, equilateral triangle, perfect. Um, so so like she that. don't need nothing then. So she just stay how she is. That nigga basically just said her shit perfect. Pretty much the exam. It doesn't take much more than that. Sometimes I'll, I'll go for masses and things like that or under the armpit, but she's good. Before the surgery, she'd get a physical exam by her doctor, clearing her for surgery. So it's not like you can just come in and then do surgery the same day. You know, I'm just yeah. making that clear to everybody. <laughs> so, okay, but wait, wait, let me see your front first. Because, ah, damn. Like the tummy. Because what the BBL involves is taking fat from this area, like the areas of the body where you have a little extra fat, turn okay. around and putting it in the place that you do. And she has a beautiful butt actually already. Um, the only thing I see, really gorgeous, the only thing I see we could do is maybe fill in these little dips I was talking about. So like- I love the dips. All these women are so it's this right no, here. No, I love dips. So when you, for example, you look at Bella, like Bella's butt now, like post-op, right? So she had fat here, but this was flat, right? When you work out, you can get these muscles to come out more. Okay. And she's just naturally blessed like that. But then what you can't do is add fat to this. I ain't lie, bro. She don't need to do anything, bro. This flat area. This is bad, right? bro. You can't do don't that. Do anything. Uh, you can't just don't eat and it have it go around here. Exactly. So what we do is we get rid of this over here. You, what you want in a curve is like a nice hourglass or Coke bottle shape. It should come in and then come out bro, she's and be good round how she like is, this. Bro. It should not go in and then out and then in again. And she's then good how she is, bro. Is that an actually attainable figure without this? No. 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 There you go. Really got a Miami mm -hmm. Do you usually have people that young getting surgery? Oh yeah, it's very common in Miami. Yeah. Now right. let's just say she gets her butt, her tits done. Does she have to come here every ten years and get a retouch, or how does that work? I would recommend that she at least follow up every ten years, but not everybody has to have them retouched at ten years. I've had okay. patients have them in for twenty years. I've had patients where I didn't put them in, but they've had them in for forty years. So I mean, as long as the breasts look good and feel good, you can leave them in for the rest of your life. But I do recommend you come back. There's a debate where it's like, okay. look good, feel good. So you want people to feel good. Yeah. Would you ever feel like this industry is having women chase a beauty standard that's almost impossible to attain? Well, there's, there's a couple of ways to look at it. Okay. The first one that we just discussed. I'll say. There are natural. I will say the social media has implanted in females' brains that you do need like a bigger body or like it's more pleasing for the men, for women to get, you know what I'm saying, a bigger body or something like that so I, I mean it's like yeah to get like a bigger booty and bigger like titties and like look the best wear makeup and everything like that so i will say like you know saying because you know saying you'll see people on the internet and then you know so the internet does influence a lot of things that's happening signs of attractiveness between for men not for women and women after men mm. and you know like if you look at the cover of a romance novel it's always this guy that looks like he-man you know like there are certain signs of attractiveness that are exaggerated and those were like sort of ideals. That's not created Scrap, by you picked a good video anybody. Thing. Nigga, I picked it because it was Tommy. It's, it's not even created by the romance novel industry or even <laughs> like say Disney princesses. You know, when the little girls uh, you know, are first exposed to like, and boys, to characters, they're always these Disney princesses that have these like tiny little ways, perfect form, perfect skin, perfect hair, perfect True. everything. We're just here to try to, let's see, make people feel better in their skin, uh -huh. you know, so that they, but yeah, I mean, the actual here. standards are not set by us. We're just here to, you know, what's the word? Facilitate. Okay. Same thing with noses and chins and hair, everything, just like hairdressers and everything else, you know? Now, there are clinics out there where people will literally die and they'll keep operating. You'll read the reviews. Somehow yeah. they have like 150 reviews with yeah. the one stars and people keep going there. Yeah. Sure. Nice. Doc, because it's, it's cheaper. That's it's, it. It's cheap. No matter how many laws. That's it, bro. Like, you no, know, saying people are really like, there's a lot of people in this world that will really risk their life just to get something that just to get something that doesn't cost. I mean, for like cheaper, for a cheaper like, you get what I'm trying to say. But in to protect patients, patients are gonna do what they want to do, and it. it's a free country. Like nobody stops people in Florida from riding a motorcycle without a helmet. You know, what I mean? even though I don't think you would or I would, but you you take your you take your risks and your benefits and you make your decision as a as an independent person. Those clinics where that have issues, they're just cheaper. That's the only thing. So True. if you want to get it, and if this is the only thing that's in your budget, you'll do that, or you'll go to Mexico or the Dominican Republic or Turkey, and it well, can be hit or miss. Turkey, you know, there are great totally surgeons in Turkey and great surgeons in Mexico, but if they're cheap, probably they're probably not the best. Would you have? Are you married? I'll yeah, also I'll think that too. Thirty years. Okay. Would you have your own wife or daughters? 
get a BBI or boob job. 100%. If they want to, 100%. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What percentage of the- I dead ass thought that nigga was finna say no. I was about to like, I really, boy, I was about to follow that up quick. What? No. But you giving- <laughs> Clinics out there, would you say, are good, safe, re reputable? I think 85% well, I was about to back with a safe, reputable. Okay. You're a good guy, gotcha. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're a good guy, too. Take Big care. pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Mind. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sitting next to you again. All right. Oh, my gosh, boy. I gotta go to Miami. Damn! Ah! Leave me alone! Ah! We're here on Miami Beach. We're put into the test. Can someone achieve a BBL booty without actually getting the BBL? And what are the ways to maintain your booty so it has maximum gluteus roundness? Thick toned muscle. Also, they work out. Thick toned, so juicy, round, no, that's the voluptuous. Mm. Right. We're gonna start with a simple body weight squat. So I just want you to start squatting. Also, basically, this is like after you get the BBL, you know, say so you still gotta work out a little bit. Normal, and I'm gonna start making adjustments. Wait, so. If you get a BBL, you still gotta work out. I mean, what's the point of getting the BBL? It's on your own spot so you can feel more glutes. Uh -huh. Yanya already knows the deal. She's the, the perfect squat model, so I'm not gonna fix her for now. If you want an excuse to feel my ass, just say it, all right? <laughs> Sorry, wife, professional purposes only. Yes. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? You're gonna squat down and hold. Nice. No hands. Yeah. Now you're gonna arch your butt oh. more to the back. Already feeling it? Nice. Now you come up. And when you squat down, I want you to do that motion. Push your knees out, almost like you're trying to push your knees to your pinky toes. Yeah. Now think about there's a little stool behind you and you're sitting behind it. You're not squatting forward, you're squatting back. Push your butt back. Spread those knees out. Come on, girls. Yes, more, 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 more. Good. Keep going. <laughs> hey, DT will be so proud. That's what I'm saying. You got to work out, boy. I like the more natural look. Well, I don't know. I, I like this look. Okay, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to be weird when I pause it here, okay? I'm not trying to be weird. But I like the little like curve. I like the little, you know what I'm saying? I forgot, like, it's not curves, but like, I like the little like, the mesh. I don't know what to call it, but I like those. So I think the real question is, is someone willing to put in the work to do it with the diet, in the kitchen, on the gym, on the sand, doing it the right way? Or do they want to go to a surgeon that's gonna... I mean, they both work, right? They both right. work, it's just what type of work are you willing to put? I know surgery is not easy, recovery. Nobody tells you that until you do it. Wow. Also, the money, I feel like here in Miami, uh, wherever they're getting their money, but yeah, surgery is very, good. yeah, surgery is very expensive if you want something like nice and quick, but also she's been doing this for over 20 years, mm -hmm. and I thought I was going to get her body within two years that I've been training with her, okay. and so far so good, but it's not so what I'm looking so for. Very good. So. <laughs> How long? I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's basically just a quick term thing. They don't want the long term run. You need to put the work for, and what type of work are you willing to put? And is that that instant result? Yeah, you get out of the office, and you have that shape already, you have the volume, you have, you, I'm gonna go through a, a long recovery, but with clothes on. What I've noticed about the BBL is sometimes a BBL looks better with pants on than pants off. Oh yeah. True. Like pants on, you're like, oh my God, that is an ass. And then they, you see it and you're like, it looks kind of a little odd. Yeah, then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Cause like the, the aftermarks and shit like that, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, what happened? Well, for the most part, surgeries, like I told you yesterday, they're not perfect, so in clothes they look fantastic. That's why I was trying to get you to see the scar on that other patient, because once they take their clothes off, their belly buttons are up here, there's like fibrosis, they're uneven, the butt That's looks like all lumpy and bumpy, but of course, clothes, compression garments make everything look nice and tight, small waist, big ass, but it's kind of an illusion. What would be your message to women out there that are considering? They're, they're on the fork of the road. They want the perfect booty, man. They want what you got, and they're wondering, do I go natural or do I go surgery route? What would you tell them? Okay. I tell them go natural any time of the day because 
that would be the best decision you have in the long term. I'm 38 now and my booty looks so much better today than when it did when I was 28. Okay. So much better. When men are looking at Instagram photos of models and people out there, what percent of them you think are altered in a way? 95%. Yeah, yeah. I would say. When I first moved out Damn, to Miami, 95%. they told me that I had to basically make myself look prettier than I Oh, damn, nigga, nah, they really edit this photo. I am in person, on well, Instagram. Not even that. Like, I the first know. people that were trying to help, like, run my Instagram, they were like, yeah, you have to look prettier than you are in person. You gotta use Photoshop, you gotta use Face App. Uh, and, like, you look I perfect like, how you oh, are, okay, like, yeah. I'm not a milkman, but shit, you look good how you just are right now. Like, there, I wonder, like, how are these girls so not a pretty, man, no. like, and then, like, it comes off, it's like, yeah. It's, it would be like if men started see. just Photoshopping six packs everywhere we go. Uh, pretty much. Right. I Hell, that was a fake photo. What the hell? Okay, come on. I don't know what I can show on YouTube, bro. Come on. You know, you're from Brazil. You've been in America for a long time. You, you know the difference between the cultures. Like, do you think America has more of a superficial culture around body? I don't think it's more superficial. I think it's just based in different things than Brazil is. In Brazil, we're very much so about My conquering eyes. the body. My innocent eyes. Like we're very like I love I love to look good. In Brazil, like women really oh, she got, like, like, take care of themselves. I mean, like a muscle chest. Most of the chest. big cities, you'll never see a woman uh, walking around in flip flops going to like, anywhere basically. With how much garbage is in our food, do you think it's harder for people to look and feel good in America? Much harder. Yeah, I okay. think the food industry here is, is horrible, borderline criminal. It's it's really really bad. It always makes us feel but like it be so less. Good. Like we're not enough. Like our butts are not big enough. My waist is not small enough. My boobs are not high enough. So I think the pressure comes from each individual woman. Muscle like mommy, I'm on my way. You know, just yeah, get this nigga away. Like, oh, my boobs are bigger. Like, <laughs> who don't do that? Is it hard to be comfortable in your own body? Yes. Which is a question I make myself often. Like, why is it that we're so mean to each other? I'm sorry. We're so mean to ourselves all the time. Because if I see my friend or if I see any of those girls here, like, I see beauty in them. But when I look at myself in the mirror, the first thing I see are not, it's not the beauty, it's the flaws. Okay. I don't know where it comes from. It's, it's not from social media, although I think social media really enhanced it. It's something way, way before that. I ain't lie, the way she, her S is like, it's kind of hurting my ears. But we are so prone to see first her flaws and focus on them, uh, like obsess over them. Instead of looking at the good damn, things she really got going. some sharp S's. And it's so hard to actually recognize, oh, but I'm working out and I'm, I'm losing it and I'm, I'm good. We always have that mindset of like, I'm good, but not enough. I can still lose a pound. I can still grow an inch. At the heart of the BBL phenomenon, it really comes down to the age-old human desire to be seen, admired, and to feel comfortable in our own skin. Because the reality is, we are imperfect beings with insecurities and things about ourselves that we wish we could change. Mm. But the truth is, that's also what makes us special and unique. Mm. And my fear is that Speak as a society, Tommy. we are trending towards a world that thirsts too much for instant gratification. We all know nothing great comes easy, too much and for Olympian internet takes years to perfect their craft. A home-cooked meal will always beat microwave box food, and a but shaped by years of dedication to a good diet and exercise routine, in my opinion, will always beat the enormous BBL butt that the skinny legs don't quite BBLD, match. So I suppose man. I'm going to leave you with this. <laughs> I encourage you to take the long route and enjoy the struggle that comes with it. Because after all, the magic of life is simply to enjoy the journey bro, that we're on. Listen, I'm just saying to touch on what Tom G said, bro. If you take the quickest route, you're not going to enjoy it. Like, take person A who took the quickest route. Right to the quickest route to get to the uh, point of like they want to be in and look at point b who took you know saying the long route you know saying the harder route i say like that uh plan b is going to enjoy his goal a lot more than plan a even though this might be the same goal you know what I'm saying but it's just you will look back and look at all the things that you have to go through and all the things that you have to fight for to be able to attain your uh position instead of somebody that just ran through the quick way like, say somebody just got a BBL. Oh, all I did was go in, you know what I'm saying, get a big booty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, cool. You know what I'm saying? Versus for person B that can go to the gym be like, you know what I'm saying? I did this workout. I did that workout. There was days I didn't even want to go to the gym. But I said, fuck it. I'm going to go. Boom, workout. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and then, or So, yeah. <clears throat> Do me Tommy G.